Hi everyone, today I'm going to be catching one of the world's fastest trains, the high-speed train between Beijing and Shanghai. First things first, however, I don't catch the train from here, which is the Beijing main station. I have to go to Beijing South. So let's negotiate the metro. Hopefully I'm here. It is 20 minutes to 8. I'm hoping that I'm not going to hit rush hour because I've seen some pretty horrendous reports on how busy the trains get in the morning. So let's go. Beijing South Station is the size of an airport. Gate 15 at 10 o'clock. Okay, I've made it to the waiting area. Gate 15 in, 1 hour and 30 minutes. Dear passengers, your attention to the gate for train number G. Dear passengers, This is what I call a train.
made it to Shanghai. I had to get a picture of the, the pointy end of the train. Anyway, we're here. I now have to find the metro, and then I have to find my hotel. Tonight, there's something very, very good I want to show. Something I've been looking forward to seeing for years. Tonight's the night. Okay, metro. Straight ahead. I was upgraded to an executive room. Well, I've checked in at the Bund Riverside Hotel in Shanghai. Um, this room was actually booked through a company called Agoda.com, who I had seen before online but I had never used. They're a Singapore version of Trivago or Booking.com. They're a search engine for hotels. Anyway, I booked a Queen Double and it has a river view and I thought, what could possibly go wrong? Sounds great. It was a really good rate and that's why I booked it through Agoda. Anyway, I got to the reception desk downstairs and the man said, he was tapping away for ages and he says, I've got a room for you but it's not a very good room and you have requested a, a river view, would you like to upgrade to one of these other room types? And I thought, no chance, I'm in that game as well, no upselling to me, thanks very much. So he upgraded me to an executive room anyway, free of charge. I'm on the 16th floor, the view is fantastic, the room is absolutely special. I'll give you a, quite, a quick guided tour of the, of the room and then I'll show you this view. Now keeping in mind I'm the sort of man who finds Holiday Inns quite uh, upmarket, this is not too bad at all is it? Quite luxurious and on this trip I'm not really used to this kind of luxury. There's a nicely stocked mini bar here with European beers and a kettle with tea and coffee. They are a bit naughty here. They've got these bottles of uh, imported mineral water. That big bottle of Evian costs around about 10 US dollars or around about 8 pounds. I know it's warm in uh, Shanghai at the moment, but would you really want to be paying that sort of price, especially sneakily in the bathroom here, two bottles of complimentary mineral water. This marble floor leads into the bathroom and what a lovely looking bathroom it is. I'll be taking advantage of this shower in a few moments because I've been travelling since 7 o'clock this morning and I'm feeling a little bit sticky. Just what you need as well, a telephone by the toilet. Yes, so not bad at all. My only regret is I'm only here for two nights. Right, let me show you this view. That's some view and it's going to look absolutely spectacular at night. Right, I'm going to have a shower, I'm going to relax a little bit and then I'm going to hit the road, get something to eat and show you the skyline of Shanghai at night. Well that was the plan of action until I decided to close my eyes for 30 minutes to have a quick power nap. Seven hours later I wake up and it's midnight. Okay that didn't work out very well. Tomorrow morning I'll be going out to get some breakfast because I will be hungry. Uh, we'll go and explore the Bund, we'll travel on the world's fastest train and we'll see a few of the sites here in Shanghai. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in the morning.